This video is sponsored by Infinity Lake Aqua Bags. These are the exact same aqua bags we use with our athletes to develop motor control and proprioception using hydro inertia training. Click the link in the description and enter the coupon code CORTICAL at checkout for 20% off of your aqua bag. Our guy Nico Mannion's draft stock has plummeted, whereas at this time last year he was projected a top 5 pick. He's currently falling out of the lottery in all of the major mock drafts. This is just going to be a quick video where we explain why this happened and provide you guys with an updated scouting report on this intriguing prospect. Nico Mannion is a great playmaker off the pick and roll. He's creative and he has unlimited range. He stands 6 foot 3, averaged 14 points per game at Arizona, and has decent athleticism. Unfortunately, not by NBA standards, because if you take the time to look at all the guards on every single team, this guy's going to be expected to guard the likes of Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Fred Van Vliet, Chris Paul. It doesn't look good. And he simply lacks length. By basketball standards, he has T-Rex arms with a 6 foot 2 and a half inch wingspan. Tyler Hero is another player in the NBA with short limbs, but at 6'5", he's significantly taller. At the inception of his freshman year, Nico Mannion was considered a top 5 prospect. However, during the course of the year, he slowly began to drop on the draft board. And the primary reason for this is he just simply turns the ball over too much with nearly a 3 to 4 turnover to assist ratio. And his other major fault is he's an inconsistent shooter, shooting only 39% from the field and 32.7% from the three. Even more scary, he shot terrible on the road. These are definitely major red flags for any NBA bound point guard who's under 6 foot 5. So now whether or not we think it's a good idea that he declared for the draft after his freshman season. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, his stock has dropped significantly, but given the current state of college basketball, the next time you'd be seeing him playing in Arizona, he'd be three years removed from 2018, which was the height of his stock. If this were any other year, it would probably be best for him to stay for his sophomore season. That way he could develop consistency with his shot and continue playing in the Pac-12, where he posted some good numbers against Washington and Oregon, two teams with NBA caliber talent on their roster. Arizona also runs an NBA-style continuity ball screen offense. This type of offense really showcases his ability to shoot off the screen. But I believe in this situation, it'd be a little too risky for him to stay, given the uncertainty of whether or not college basketball is going to happen this year. So now let's put him in our handy dandy cladogram. I'm going to go ahead and say that he's in the family of Jason Kidd, which are high IQ playmaking point guards under 6 foot 5. For him to be successful at the next level, he's going to have to get into that Steve Nash species. And to do that, he's going to have to learn to knock down that 3 consistently. I honestly don't see him ever being able to guard NBA level point guards, so for him to stay on the floor, he's going to have to have a major impact on the offensive end. So for the time being, I'm going to put him in the species Goran Dragic. He's not quite at that level yet, but I definitely see some similarities both physically and play style wise. So realistically, where does Nico Mannion fall? I think he'll get picked late in the first round, but I would not be surprised if he drops somewhere into the middle of the second round. He projects to be a career backup point guard. But if he does end up in the right system, he could be a major steal from this year's draft. Again, a lot of his weaknesses are things he can't fix, but one thing he for sure can is fixing that shot. There's a lot of movement in the lower body when he shoots, he likes to kick out his legs, he likes to rotate and lean to the left, and also his release might be a little too slow at the next level. And while this sounds like a lot, these are all things he can work on and improve in the near future. Anyways guys, let us know what you think in the comment section, and as always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on the next one.